Water ingress defects are probably one of the biggest burdens on the construction industry. In the past six years, we've had probably 10 major water ingress issues that we've found in buildings that we've completed. And when I mean major, I mean they're disruptive to the people that are really occupying the buildings. And in some instances, it's taken us nearly three months to find the problem with all sorts of investigation techniques and water tracking and different experts coming in to scan the area to try and find the problem. We've created our own set of design details for waterproofing so we can avoid these issues reoccurring because really they're avoidable issues just by simply getting the detailing right. If we get the detailing right, we actually can construct it correctly. And constructing it correctly is the second part to it. We're now water testing 100% of our facades. And when I mean water testing, we're using a hose with a pressure gauge and we're running water over the facade as with a really hard pressure, trying to find the smallest of pinholes that could exist in caulking or an air bubble that might have occurred in the caulking when the caulking was being installed. We're literally just trying to find any sort of water ingress. This then avoids it occurring in the, into the future and avoiding the misery that waterproofing defects are for everyone. We're focusing in on our internal training and we've created a number of training sessions for internally for our staff because if we can educate them to pick up design details prior to us constructing it that will avoid a water ingress issue into the future. We're also training our staff in the requirements for the FP 1.4 and then that rolls out on the site that our staff then can know what to look for and if, if we can look for it and see it as it's being built well, that also will avoid an issue into the future. We're invested in our internal staff training and our design details as really it aligns with our vision, which is build the best buildings, do no harm, and improve the construction industry for a better life.